Yep. Here the boy is again. This is his favorite spot. <laughs> hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee. And I'm doing away with the intro and outro because I've been contacted by someone who says they know somebody from YouTube. And they're um, kind of like trying to prevent people from using graphics that were created by someone else other than you. Um, and as you know, <laughs> the, the backdrop in my intro and outro, um, I didn't draw it, no. So I'm probably just going to do away from intros and outros altogether. I may adjust it. I'm not really sure yet. But um, that's just another way for <laughs> YouTube to mess with us. So anyhow, um, it's cold. It, got, it dropped down cold overnight after all that rain and everything. But it stayed relatively warm in here. Um, it got down into the low 20s, but it stayed up over 40 in here. <laughs> Puppies. Um, so today, you know what? I'm going to do insulation. Lies! I've been working on a new intro and outro. So let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've been working on that most of the day. Uh, and there's a couple more things that you're going to see at the end. Where I'm thanking people for this, that, and the other. Um, somebody asked me once, are you ADHD? And I'm like, no, I'm like the, the complete opposite of that spectrum. I, I get hyper focused on things and then I, before I know it the the day has just been lost. So I think more than ADHD I'm probably more autistic than anything else because I get just so so intently involved in the the minutia of every single little tiny thing. So I don't know. Um but yeah, so I've been out. I've done some chicken chores. Um I had to break up a, a couple of uh rooster fights. Um one of the roosters got out, and I think it's because Romeo pecked at that door. I heard something going on out there, and there were no puppies out there. Um, and so Fabio got out first, and he and Romeo are, were going at it. I tried to get in between them. Rome, Romeo pecked me on the back of my leg, and he got me with his talons threw my pants and broke the skin, if you can believe that. So um, I had to get a stick. I had to get a stick and separate them, and Romeo's just doing his job, and then eventually Romeo, I mean, not uh, Romeo, Fabio and uh, Waldo, Waldo got out too and was trying to tangle with Romeo. Um, they both went back in, and I was able to close the gate, so I got to get outside and work on that, but um, a few more people have sent me PayPal donations, so stay tuned till the end of the video, and uh, I'm going to throw their names up there. Don't know what else I'm going to do today. I don't know if it's going to be insulation today or not. Um, I'm probably just going to keep this one really short. So hopefully those chickens aren't like, and roosters aren't trying to kill each other. Either. They've been squawking up a storm and I keep getting up and going out and checking on them. And puppies aren't doing anything. I think it's a rooster situation. So, but anyhow, I've been having fun doing what I've been doing. Um, I, I, you may think it's a waste of time, but... To me, it isn't because it's something I enjoy. I really do. I love doing weird stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I got to get dressed and go outside, actually. Nope. Change the plans again. I need a bath, and I need to wash my hair. And how I've done that has changed multiple times. So, I've just kind of decided to keep it simple. First thing I do is I get this big old pot and put a bunch of water in it, just a few gallons, and heat it up over my propane cooktop. Whew, that's a little bit too hot, so I just get a little bit more water and add it to it to cool it down a little bit so I don't burn myself. And then I set things up. I get my towel, I get my cup, I use this. It is Remedy <laughs> Phytoflex Cleanser Hydrating Shampoo and Body Wash. It is a no rinse, um, so you don't have to rinse it out, but I do. Um, you can dilute it and just use it to wash that way, but I just use it like a shampoo on my hair and then I rinse my hair. And then I use my little different things here 
and put some of it on it and then kind of rinse it off but you don't have to rinse it off as much as typical soap because it's very mild and it feels good and it gets my hair nice so that's what I use. I get a cheap shower curtain and just spread it out all over the floor and that is just a super wide, actually I think that's a kitty litter box. I used to have like a kitty pool to stand in but it sprung a leak and I just couldn't fix it. So I just stand in there so I can soak my feet a little bit, otherwise just a little bit of water gets out here, it's not a big deal. And I stand in front of my sink, bend over it, and uh, wash my hair and it drains down into the sink. And as you might suspect, I take that cup, dip it in the water, and pour it over me. That's all I do. I do have a um, battery-operated shower head, but it's not charged right now. So sometimes I use that, but most of the time I just use this cup and this. I take this out and kind of fold it up carefully so there's any water in it. Uh, I can just have it all in a little pouch, dump it outside, put it out here to dry, and that's it. Well, I do look at the floor and make sure there's no, you know, gathering of water um, that has gotten through the little plastic thing that I put down on the floor, and I wipe that off with another towel, and that is it. It is very simple. Um, I would like to get some kind of bigger container to stand in. Um, like I said, I did have one, but it sprung a leak, so I don't know if I want to get that exact same kind. But um, it just feels wonderful, and I just, I don't know. I always feel good after a bath. I've, got, I've had plenty of water lately, so that's a good thing. Now, in the summertime, when it's fair, I will wash my hair a whole lot more often. I just get out there by the big water tank and get the hose and just douse my head with it because it's so hot and it feels so good. And then sometimes I will go to an indiscreet place outside where nobody can see me. I might put up some barriers or something um, and put on, well, it, it's a bathing suit. It's a very skimpy bathing suit. I don't want anybody seeing me in it, that's for sure. But I'll go outside and shower like that. Um, but most of the time I just do it inside by my sink and it, it feels good. Um, I used way too much water this time. I think it's because I miscalculated and I had to add more, but I usually don't use even that much water. So I ended up having to dump um, the rest of it in, well, some garden beds and whatnot. Nothing's growing, but the good thing about the soap that I use is it's biodegradable, made with natural ingredients, and uh, so it won't harm like plants and stuff like that. But that's it, folks. <laughs> that's how I get squeaky clean! Oh my gosh, my hair is dry. Look how long it's gotten. Remember when my mom came down and cut my hair? It is down on my shoulders now. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a bald spot. <laughs> That's okay. I'm an old broad. Anyhow, it's going to get down to about 27 degrees uh, overnight. So I get to burn a fire. Not yet though, because it's still a balmy 57 degrees in here. And there's no way I'm starting a fire yet. But I am going to start one. I, I kind of feel like chicken and rice. I really do. And the doggies love chicken and rice. So maybe I'll just make a big pot of that and share some with the doggies. Um, And maybe make a bigger pot and share some with the chickens tomorrow. Ooh, they love chicken and rice too. But, uh, yeah, so I went outside. I had to um, gather some wood, bring it inside. It's going to be below freezing for a couple nights, and then it's going to stay in the like high 30s, 40s overnight. Um, the temperatures during the day are going to be mild. We're still going to get some freezing and below freezing temperatures for the next two or three weeks, but I think we're over the hump, guys. I really do. Anyhow, thank you so much, everyone, for the additional PayPal donations. You get to see my new little outro thingy, what I did. Watch it all the way to the end. And it's kind of cute. Well, whatever. <laughs> I think it is. But thank you so much. Um, it's going to enable me to, well, keep my dogs fed, keep my chickens fed. Um, and I think I'm going to be able to make that property tax payment by the end of the month. I'm almost there. Anyhow, thank you everybody. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.